Got your pants down, just sitting on some back road somewhere, and apparently you can't remember the name she just told me. Uh, she wanted me to have a stable well, there. Pretty good chance that we got a prostitution deal going on. Get out of the Get out of there! Get out! Step out! Step out! I got a gun pointed to my head. <laughs> and a knife to my neck. <laughs> I saw this car just kind of sitting in a spot where a car wouldn't normally sit. A couple of people in it, see what they're up to, because this isn't a normal place to be. Evening. We, I was waiting on my mom. Where's your mom live? She's come. I was, she works here, but I had just missed her. She works where? She works, she just left here. I told him to pull up in front of the building, but he parked right there. OK. Do you have an ID on you? My ID? Yes, sir. He wants your ID. I just, I just. Uh, Where y'all stay at? Right around the corner. Next to the church right there, I just stay right there. And your mom couldn't just meet you there? Hop out of the car real quick. I want to talk to you, OK? You're not in arrest. You're not in trouble or anything like that. I just want to talk to you for a minute. Four forty-four. You got another unit that can meet me over here. Step back here to my car. Four forty-three. Four forty-four. It's Northwest Second Jackson. How do you say your name, man? How do you say your name? John. Turn around and face me, so I can watch her too. What's going on? Because I know whatever she's telling me is not true. Buckle up your pants for me, there. Huh? Buckle your pants up for me, since they're no buckle them. Okay. Fasten them. They're falling off. I don't want your pants falling off right here. What's her name? John. So it's not matching up with what she just told me. And you got your pants down. You're sitting on some back road somewhere. And apparently, you can't remember the name she just told me. And apparently, you don't think I don't see what's going on here. I'm sorry, sir. I, I can tell you the truth. I have no problem. So tell me the truth, then. She, when, when she called me, she said that they want to go to my, uh, my mom's. Uh -huh. But first, she, she, she said that, uh, let, let's stay here a little bit. Uh, she want me to have a say with her, but I said, no, I don't, I don't want it. That's why. <laughs> you that's didn't why seem much like you didn't want to. Your pants were undone. I, but to me, that's a pretty good indication that you do want to. Yeah, yeah but uh, I told her that I don't want it. And then she, she forced me. She forced me to do it. So she will open my gun. OK. No, I need you to stand up for me real quick. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. You're not under arrest, but I'm putting you in handcuffs so that you can't run off until I'm done I here, okay? Let me see your hands. You, what, you drunk or something? I'm gonna have you come talk to me in a minute, too. I just don't want him running off. Sit down right there on that curb. Tiara? Yeah. Hop out of the car for me. Mm -hmm. Step right over here. You don't have any weapons or anything on you, do you? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess if you did, I'd know. Have a seat right there on that bench. Do you want to tell me what's really going on, or do you want to maintain your story? You, I know him. Well, he comes down here and he picks me up for dates every Friday. And I know he came to pick me up from my house. I'm, I ain't going to lie to you. I tell you the truth, he comes down here every Friday. OK. Ain't no sense of lying, but that's not what I was doing right there. You've already lied to me, then. Hell. You told me your mom was coming to meet you. But, this, but then she you was, tell me. She, I'm going back home. Not at all. I'm going at back out of town. I stayed, I came from where he come from. And he comes down here and he picks me up and then he takes me, I ride back with him out of town. Go over to this officer and we're gonna sit in the back seat of his car for a minute. Pretty good chance that we got a prostitution deal going on. She tells me his name sitting in the passenger seat of the car where he can hear it and he still doesn't know what her name is. What were y'all doing in the car? Oh, she, you know, I, I see my girlfriend, so... She's your girlfriend? Yeah. OK, she's your girlfriend, but you don't know her first name? When was the last time you went to jail for okay. him? I've been to jail in over a year or so. $25, is that what he paid you? That's my money. I already had my own money You been in my shoe. I already called another officer who's dealt with you for this before. But yeah, but, I, but I've never been convicted of this. All right, well, you're going to go for it today. For what? for a prostitution. He gave you $20. I pull up and his pants are already down. All that means is that I caught you before you got into anything. But I'm going to jail for prostitution. Yeah, that's what you're going to jail for. So is he going to go to jail? 
Hook them both up. I got a gun pointed to my head and a knife to my neck. And I took it. And I... We're going to be en route to a stabbing call. We just got information that this suspect could be hiding in the apartment complex laundry room up here, so we're just going to get up here real quick and uh, see if we can find him. Shut up, don't say a word. All right. Control 746. Code 4, he's in custody. Fire. No, shut up. Get your hand away from your pocket. Oh, sir, I have nothing. I, I just have a hair in my mouth. Shut up. Okay. We still got a red going? OK. okay. How old are you? 18. You're 18? How long have you been 18 now? Since last year, uh, 27. So you'll be 19 this year? Two months. Okay. Can you explain why we're here? Can you explain maybe why you were hiding in a... Brandon, you know what? We already, we already it's the know. worst night of my life, man. Why? What happened? I got a gun pointed at my head <laughs> and a knife to my neck. <laughs> and I took it. And, I... <laughs> and what happened? There's nothing on the ID. Do you stay in this apartment here? Do you have, is it rented to you? I want right there. Okay. 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 <laughs> So what happened once they pointed the knife at you? I got a knife pointed at me, and I got socked in the face. And I took the knife, and I grabbed it, and I like I twisted their arm so I get it. And then I didn't remember what happened. I don't know if I hit them or what. All I remember is my hand got hurt really bad, and my hand was bleeding everywhere. And then I just been running, and running and running and running and running and running. And I don't know where. Where did this, this occur? Over there by, uh, like by Charleston. Okay. What happened to the knife? I don't know. You don't remember? After, did you lose it when you ran? Did you carry yeah. it back here? When I was running, it, oh. You don't remember what the knife looked like? I never looked at it. I grabbed it from him. I thought I was going to die tonight. I did not know what was going on. I grabbed it from him, and I just started swinging with it, and I think I cut somebody. OK. Who are you with tonight? Just by myself. OK, well, we know that there was somebody else. Who was it? There was a bunch of people. I don't know who they are. Who was your buddy that you were with? I wasn't with nobody. OK, he's already at the hospital. Your boy already told us what happened, man. So we're just trying to get your side of the story, OK? So don't don't think that you're going to you're gonna rat on him or anything like no, that. We already know. Okay. I know. We don't I know. know exactly what's going on with you, like so. I just, I'm not, I didn't do nothing. I'm not in this. I was just walking with my friend. That's all I was doing. What was his name? All right, Brandon. It's not like anybody's dying, like you said. Think about what happened. When you disarm somebody, maybe you should just disarm them and not stab them. Go to jail, figure it out from there.